Hello. Alright. Let's work on the archer. So your transition, shift to one side, step out a little bit wider, cross the arms, shift to that side, step out a little bit wider, and we're going to go into that horse stance and kind of adjust your feet to your comfortable width. Go down, test how deep you can go, brush the legs, lift up, straighten the legs without locking the joints, and then this is where we point the index finger, tuck the thumb and fingers at five point star. Bring the hands above the head, palms facing forward, then sit down into a light or a high horse stance. So we're not going too deep into the knees. Hands are right out in front of the heart space, right between the throat and solar plexus. Now we begin by turning at the waist. Notice that my weight doesn't shift and my hips don't rotate in any way. The fingertips are perpendicular and that's where we're going to draw back and sit down, looking across the right fingertip. Only go as deep as you can without leaning your head forward. Push your opposite hand top to the side, facing forward. As you rise up, bring the elbows in, bending the elbows, rotate in at the shoulders. Then as your hands come to the front, make sure your feet are parallel, and then sink down just lightly, uh, but pressing down into the feet, and relax. Now we turn to the other side. Each side is one repetition. This is our second rep. I tend to adjust my toes out a little bit, so I can be a little more comfortable as I come down into that deep stance. Draw back my string, extend the bow, look center, push the hands out, and I'm going to tighten up my shoulders, chest, arms, and legs. I'm going to tighten up my body, and then I'll set my feet turn parallel once again. That way when I press down into my body, there's energy pushing back from the earth, moving into my energy system, and relax. The archer is our big, open, horizontal stretch. Open up the chest, open up the heart and throat, nice expanded, open up the inner cha channels and the arms, and then come up, adjust the feet, and press down. And our fourth rep, going to the opposite side, drop down, open up, and squeeze. So imagine like you're squeezing out a dirty sponge, detoxifying the body and cleansing. Now relax. Shimmy the feet. Heels in, toes in. Turning to normal. Feel the increased energy. First feeling it in the hands. Feeling it around the body. Just begin to shift your awareness. Allow yourself to become sensitive and aware to the flow of vital life force energy, moving in, around, and through the body. And then once you have that energy built into the hands, you can go ahead and put it somewhere in the body or just allow it to absorb in your whole being. Namaste.